हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट द मेंबर्स ऑफ ए ट्रस आर कनेक्टेड टू द गसेट प्लेट इफ द फोर्सेस आर कंकरेंट एट पॉइंट ओ डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड्स ऑफ एफ एंड टी फॉर इक्विलिब्रियम राइट एंड टेक थीटा इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी डिग्री right so all these uh, three forces are in equilibrium right so we have to find the magnitude of this force and the magnitude of this t when this theta is 90 degrees right this f and t forces are making 90 degree with each other so now let's say that this angle is let's say alpha so we can find this alpha by using this triangle we are given this triangle right so we are having this triangle the hypotenuse for this triangle is 5 perpendicular is 3 and the base is 4 right and this is our alpha angle so we can find alpha angle right so alpha we can apply tan alpha so tan alpha will be equal to this 3 divided by 4 so alpha will be equal to tan inverse 3 divided by 4 alpha equals to 36.87 degrees right so if this alpha is 36.87 degrees so then we can find this t angles with the x axis is right so this is 36.87 and let's say that this angle is beta so then beta will be equal to 90 degrees since this angle is 90 degree this theta is 90 degree 90 minus alpha so beta equals to 53. 13 degrees right so now we know the angle of this t with the x axis is as well this is 53.13 degrees now what uh, we need to do is that we will apply the equilibrium condition we will apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and we will apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so for that we will resolve these two forces into its components this 9 kN force is acting vertically in the y direction So if I resolve this force into its components, this F force into its components, right? So it will have one component acting in this direction, right? And this will be the cos component of that force F, and it will have one component which will be acting vertically uh, downward in the negative y direction, right? So this is this component is the sine component. If we consider this alpha angle, so this will be F sine of thirty six point eight seven. and this one will be the cos component so this will be f cos of 36.87 and similarly this t force will have two components as well right so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction right so we can it will have one component like this which will be acting vertically downward and it will have one component which will be acting in this direction right so if we consider this beta so then this one is the cos component right so if this is beta so then this angle is also beta right so then this is the cos component so this means that this is t cos of 53.13 and this one is t sin of 53.13 degrees right now we can apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 now as we can see that this uh, cos component of t is acting in the positive x direction so we will write t cos of 53.13 degrees and this cos component is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus f cos of 36.87 degrees and this will be equal to 0 so let's say that this is equation 1 now we will apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and we will consider that this is our positive direction right this is positive y so now as we can see that this 9 kN force is acting in the positive y direction so i will write 9 plus 9 this is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus f sin of 36.87 and this sin component is also acting in the negative y so we will write minus t sin of 53.13 degrees and this will be equal to 0 so now as we can see that in both equations there are two unknowns so we have two equations and two unknowns right so from this we can say that t equals to f cos of 36.87 divided by cos of 53.13 
degrees right and we can substitute this t in this equation too right so this will be minus f sine of 36.87 degrees minus and if we substitute this right so then this will be in in place of t we will have f cos of 36.87 divided by cos of 53.13 degrees into sine of 53.13 degrees and this 9 will come to the other side so this will become minus 9 so now in this equation we have only one unknown and that unknown is this f force right so we can solve this when we simplify this equation so then we get this and if we take f common from this so this will be minus 0 0.6 minus 1.067 equals to minus 9 and when we solve this so f comes out to be 5.39 or we can say that it is approximately 5.40 kilo newton right so this is the magnitude of that force f and now if we uh, put this value in this equation right so this will give us the magnitude of the t right so we can find this t so t equals to now f is 5.40 cos of 36.87 divided by cos of 53.13 degrees so this t equals to 7.20 kilonewton right so this is the solution of this problem